Well, ladies, today we're going to make meatloaf. Good old traditional home cooking, family style meatloaf, all right? Again, the kitchen cutter. This thing is the greatest thing in the world. Take your onions, cut them into quarters, run them through the machine, and no more tears. Notice I don't have to sit up here and cry about cutting up onions, okay? Pretty sweet and simple. Now, if you happen to have one of these machines, you want to watch real close. Take it very simply, turn it on or turn it off. Get a hold of it, just like you see right here. And take your onions, just like you saw me, run it through the machine. Don't put your fingers all the way down in there. Right? There is a finger guard if you need to use it, by all means do. Now we're going to put our onions in with our meatloaf. We've got some good old lean ground beef here. And if you want to get creative, put some pork and all kinds of meats all together and put lots of flavor into it. Put it into any type of container you want. Add your onions. Onions are good. You like onions? Yeah, onions are good for you, all right? And then you come over and you put your peppers. And you come over and you put your ooh, whatever we got here. That looks delicious, all right? <laughs> what is it? Parsley. Oh, good. We got to put some parsley. Then we put some breadcrumbs and an egg, and we're going to mix this all together, and that's going to be our basis. Now, after we put all this together, we're going to make a little sauce to go on the top of this because we're going to be actually cooking the meatloaf on top of the stove. So we're going to preheat this just a little bit in the kitchen craft skillet. We're going to use the small skillet over here. Let me mix it all up, and we'll be ready to go here just shortly. Okay, now, guys, we're going to make a little sweet and sour sauce. This is world-famous stuff here, okay? Take a little bit of tomato sauce that's left in your can, add some pepper. Now, you can put the pepper into the meatloaf, or I'm going to put it right here into this sauce we're going to put over the top. Then we come over and we put our brown sugar. Now, that's a little tomato sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of mess because there's a man in the kitchen, okay? And put some mustard. How much mustard you put? Well, it just depends. If it's a woman, you measure. If it's a man, you don't. We just don't like that. We just mix it up and put it on. It comes out good every time, okay? This makes up your own kind of almost a barbecue sauce. Put this right over the top of your meatloaf. And folks, in about 20 minutes from now, we're going to have a meatloaf that'll knock your socks off. Put it on about medium heat at this point. About medium heat on your stove. Put the cover on it. In 20 minutes, it's going to be out of this world. Dan is good. Well, I'm good. You guys are good. And there's nothing like mom's meatloaf. Now, I happen to personally love meatloaf. And I want you to look at this, gals. In 20 minutes, start to finish, you have cut an absolutely beautiful dinner put together. Put your veggies around that. You talk about something that's good. Woo, look at that. This is tender as can be. I put some carrots in with mine as well sometimes. You can put any vegetables you want to into the meatloaf. Have a beautiful meal in 20 minutes on top of the stove without using the oven. At today's energy prices, what do you think that's going to do to help lower your electric bills and keep a cooler kitchen with the air conditioner? You're going to love it. It's meatloaf time here.